before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free, and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's Oasis. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Community Wealth. Today, what I'm going to discuss keeping your credit reports updated, and I'm going to go into a rental report that I had received from when I moved into this house. Well, before I did the credit check and the background check, before I moved into this house. But before I get into that, if you would like to know your FICO scores, and what's on your reports for all three of the bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week with your own vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. Now, if you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then you can click the Wealth higher car link in the description below and that way you can use the higher car to then wealth dash after you sign up for wealth dash to still make 500 to 1000 dollars plus per week on your time you want to know how i got five properties for five thousand five hundred dollars click the be free link in the description below and with all this shopping we do every day all day you can get cash back for your online shopping activities and you can do that by clicking the cash back link in the description below. Okay. And I want to reference this by saying you always want to keep a tab on what's going on on your credit reports. I do this all the time. I'm constantly checking my credit. Check my credit. I want to say I check my credit at least twice to three times a week. All the time. Not only for identity theft situations because I had somebody recently um, crack into my credit card before and they was actually buying stuff. I mean, they, they was buying stupid stuff, but fortunately Navy Federal texted me because they saw unusual activity and I was able to get up right away. I didn't even know what it was. I just got a text message. I thought it was my girl or something. I'll check it out. It's Navy Federal talking about somebody had uh, used my car for, uh, what's it called? One of them trading websites, I forget the name of it. Trading View. Right, it was Trading View. And it was strange because I was just about to sign up for Trading View that week. <laughs> so that was real odd that, you know, I got this text message somebody's his own on the Trading View site using my credit card. Then they started buying stuff from like some online pet store and all types of other crazy stuff. So of course they shut that down, refunded me, issued me a new card. But still, that's another reason why you want to, you know, check your credit reports but also you want to keep your information updated you always want to keep your information updated and i'm going to show you in a written report why but let me just get into it and i'll show you why i'll show you right now this right here is the on-site rent report all right and what you can see here is the employment all right, this is the employment. I work for myself. So I say that I'm the manager of operations of NM LLC. All right. And on Equifax, look, it says manager NM LLC. All right. So things like this, you want these two things to match. You want it to match. All right. You want it to. You want your job to match what you're talking about. Right, you don't want to have no issuation, no 
you, you don't want to have any situations where you could be discredited because you're saying you work here and on your credit report is something else. Now, you can always show proof. That's not the problem. The problem is you don't even want to get to that point. You want you, you don't even want no questions raised. You want everything to match all the time. And so again, I'm constantly watching my credit report see if something change. Like even on, I believe it was on a uh, TransUnion. This changed. Now it wasn't a big deal because you know that's obvious. But my other two credit reports said NM LLC, but on TransUnion it said NM LCC. I need to get them update that right away. You know, and there's some it's, a, it's some other things that happen like um. And addresses and you know um, they had changed my employer one time they went they they they, so they put some stuff that I ain't worked in about like almost what 15 years <laughs> you know I'm like hold on y'all that was the last job I had you know how you gonna have that on here you know what I mean so I had to get them to re remove that and it's, it's not difficult at all I actually got a video where I talk about that I might re-upload that again so you guys can see it show you how I you know updated information on my credit report okay but that's just this this right here I I never I never saw how they looked at this you know is they actually got it side by side look it says from application manager of operations in LLC then it says from Equifax manager in LLC it matched you know what I mean so you don't want you, know, you I mean you don't want to have a couple of things on here you know you just want to have what you what you're doing right now whether you work for yourself or whatever you the company you work for you want to have it right here right now you don't want no problems all right so let me go further down I want to harp on this but before that you know you want to check all your other personal information too like you want to know or uh, you want to have your name and your address match like I remember one time they kept adding stuff to my name that wasn't even right it's like hold on why y'all keep changing that you know they keep adding spellings make the name run together and stuff like that so you want to make sure all of that is straight because you don't want to have any discrepancies even with your name you know address you want to keep you want to have just the current address or no you want to keep the addresses off you know you want to do all of that stuff so um phone number sometimes they had a phone number sometimes they don't but you want to have that updated as well just in case and it just a whole bunch of stuff you want to make sure it's on your credit report is correct right you want to make sure that stuff is correct address name social security number is another big one your employment age you know all of that stuff all right so now we're going to get to this here this right here is risk models risk model name this is the real page ai score my score is 684 Score factors, trade line scoring, debt to income ratio, credit score, rental payment history. Right, my rental payment history kind of sketchy. I haven't paid rent in years. This is the first time I actually was paying rent in some, I mean, some years, years. Last place I was at, you know, I, I had a house in Illinois, you know, but now I'm out here renting because I, I, I'm renting this house because. I haven't found a house that I want to buy yet. All right, and when I buy a house, more than likely I'm gonna buy a house when I move back to Illinois. That's when I buy a house. I move back to Illinois. But right now, I'm renting this house. It's a nice house. I think I told you about it before. Three bedroom, three bath. Well, three bedroom, two and a half bath. You know, two thousand square feet. Uh, it's a two story, two car garage. You know, so it's a nice house. Nice house. Anyway, but. It says real page AI score uses machine learning and data patterns and credit score, debt liability types, trade lines, rental payment history, and renter behavior to achieve reduced bad debt. The real page AI score range is between one and one thousand. The higher score, the less risky the consumer. So again, they took into the trade line scoring, debt to income ratio, credit score, rental payment history. All right, and I guess my debt to income is pretty good compared to what I put on there. All right. So, they have the risk model credit score applicant, a 668. So, score factors, 
lack of sufficient credit history, lack of sufficient relevant real estate account information, the balances on your accounts are too high compared to loan amounts, too many of the delinquencies on your accounts are recent. Now, that could be bad, but you gotta look at the fact that, you know, when I did this, I had just got the credit uh, limit increase, I had just bought a vehicle, uh, two, we said I bought the vehicle in May, I filled out this application in July, I had just got the real estate loan in July, so we're talking about everything was still pretty much new. But my income, they said it's not sufficient, but it actually is. The credit, the credit score is not that bad. Well, the risk score is not that bad. It's kind of where my credit score was at the time. So, you know, that's why they was able to go ahead and do it. On top of, they actually asked to see my income. And since I work for myself, I sent them my bank statements. When I sent them my business bank statements, I guess they said, whoa, okay, this guy's good. You know, so the description of this score model is this, this credit score is a widely used risk model that uses credit report data to predict the likelihood of default. The credit score ranges between 300 and 850. The higher the score, the less risky the consumer. All right. So this is the rental report. I'm not going to go all the way through it because a bunch of, you know, information in here that's personal, of course. And, you know, they go to my credit accounts, credit num credit uh, account numbers and stuff like that. So I'm not going to get into that. But it, they actually go into the credit report itself. And they have one there, the Navy Federal. They have one there, the uh, GM Financial, uh, the credit uh, the other credit card, American Express, First Premier. Only thing that's not on here is the real estate loan. And here's why: the real estate loan. I think I, this is Equifax, by the way. The real estate loan is actually on Experian only. It's Experian, so that's, it's only on Experian. So it's not even on Equifax. So they don't see it. So that's why I say lack of real estate history. But it's not even on here. It's on um, Experian. It's the only place that it's on. It's only on Experian credit report. So, again, I don't have a rental history. I mean, we're talking about <laughs> over 15 years ago. So, I have one now, though, that I've been paying on time. You know, this, remember, I've been here since August 1st. I paid the first, the deposit, first and last month rent, you know, uh, pretty much the next day after I got this. <laughs> after I got this report, I paid security first last month rent and i've been paying you know early ever since you know so here it is december and you know i'm gonna have a pretty good rental history right so anyway that's what i'm gonna leave it at that but again i may be updating or well, uploading a video of the video of the account information how to update your account information with the credit bureaus all right so maybe a re-upload that or you know i might just do a new video to show you how to do it you know that you know i'll, I'll see i'll see what the other video look like because the relevant information is nothing i have to update is relevant information is all the same it's about letters and all that stuff and then you call them and boom you get them on the phone after they get the uh, information to see what had went down because actually that's all i did all i did was i sent it to them they updated it i saw some stuff that wasn't updated correctly and i called them and they did it over the phone because they know they just got the information they just got it so they just looked at it said oh, okay cool boom they did it over the phone and it was good i did that for all three by the way all three were just fine there was no crazy stuff going on but anyway hope this helped you out hope it wasn't boring <laughs> to you because while i'm talking about it it sounded like Dang, this guy might be boring but again hope it helps you out hope it's very informative you know, again, if you want to know your credit scores and what's on your reports, click the credit monitor link in the description below. And that way you can get all you, you're not going to get this. This I got this. They sent it to me once I applied to uh, rent the house. You know, once I applied to rent the house, they sent it to me. And that's how I'm able to show it to you. I've never seen this before. I've never seen it. You know, I never know what they were looking at and how it was compared. I never saw it. And now that I'm seeing this I'm like, OK, cool. Again, on, on this report, they actually information, they uh, do background checks, they do sex offenders, all that stuff. Sex offenders work, as you saw. Um, uh, restricted persons, all that stuff is on this report. All right, all of it is on here. Anyway, so again, hope you got a lot of this. Hope it was informative for you. And yo, 
Thanks for watching. If you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below. And that way you can hire a car and use that vehicle to then Wealth Dash and make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your own time. If you want to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below. And if you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. Like, share the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to It's a Wasey, and until the next video, Let's get this money.